The price you will pay, the suffering you will go through to make your dream come true, is incredibly small than the price you will pay if you never do. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. Ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Because what most people do when they're trying to chase their dream or their big outcome, the whole time they're negotiating the price in their head. Should I continue to do it? Is it worth it? I don't know if I can continue anymore. It's getting higher and that price is failure. That price is setback. That price is looking back. That price can be financial, literally a physical price. Is it getting too high? Is it too much? And you'll have people in your ear. It's too big a sacrifice. You're going through too much and you begin to negotiate it in your mind. It distracts all your focus. You can't be executing and negotiating simultaneously. If you're in your head negotiating and negotiating and negotiating, you can't execute. So negotiate it now. Negotiate it with me now. What are you willing to pay for me? When I'm after something big, I'm going to get it. And I know that negotiation comes up front. I accept the suffering. I accept the sacrifice. I know the sacrifice is far smaller than the one I'll pay if I don't do it. And I eliminate distractions and I go freaking get what I want in my life just like you can. And this needs to be your recipe as well. Do you expect, based upon your performance, based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life, do you expect to be successful? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to live a life of productivity? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can tell what you expect by what you do. Show your tree by the fruit it bears, not the fruit that it wants, not the fruit that it talks about, not the fruit that it claims, but by what you are doing. See what you do when you leave here, when the music stops, when the shouting dies down, your behavior, how you conduct yourself, writing your goals down, deciding to enroll in school to get a GED, deciding to sit into class with children young enough to be your grandchildren. Decide to find some product, some idea, some service that you can provide so that you can begin to create some value for yourself so you can create well. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. You're just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going forever to be average. Because to be great, you got to keep up. I'm upset with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. This is the only